she bad, she know the dope Every time she hit the flow What's good? It's your boy Chewy, UTVMG representer, uh -uh. Falls Bridge representer. I'm here with my man Sazy. And uh, we're here about to ask him some questions about his new project, his old project, his future, hip hop in Canada. Just see what's going on, man. Yeah, I haven't Just seen this paint. These guys Hollywood nowadays, you know? Hi. It's hard to catch him. You gotta like jump in his backyard and scare him. Literally. Literally. <laughs> but yeah, I got some questions. Got some questions for you, my friend. Why Dragon Ball Z? Fuck, that's a good one. Um, I just thought it was interesting. It was like uh, something a little bit different. I didn't really see too many people um, messing with that kind of stuff or like bringing anything anime into uh, music. So then when you brought in the music and the people that fucked with that type of shit, um, they were drawn to it. And then people who didn't even know about it were still drawn to it because they were like, what the fuck is this guy doing with some animation shit or some weird... Tom I mean, I grew, I grew up with it. I'd go to El yeah, Salvador. Yeah. I mean, I didn't grow up with it here. I didn't know nothing about no Dragon Ball Z here, but every time I go to El Salvador to visit family, they'd have it there in, in, in Spanish. Spanish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So it was worldwide, yeah, it's worldwide Dragon Ball Z. Sure. And I didn't really know nothing about it, but you came out with it. But yeah, there. and that's another thing. It's a worldwide thing. Yeah. Like many languages, and I guess in like German and fucking Italian, Spanish, English, Japanese. And that's what's dope. And then I, I see uh, a lot of haters on there, though, telling yeah, me. Yeah, of course. Like, like, telling I mean, you that you don't know nothing about no Dragon Ball Z. Whatever. Those, those, those are like the diehard fans. That's like if someone makes a mixtape about, like, say, like Star Wars. There's going to be like diehard people that are like upset because you're putting your finger in the universe that they're so obsessed with. Comic Con like, type yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. When it boils down to it, I mean, it's for everybody. They made it. It's public content. I can like what I want to like and, and I don't it, have to know everything like back to front like a book, you know what I mean? Like, it worked for you too. Yeah, it works. So yeah. Shout out Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. How do you feel about your career right now? Okay. From Hit and Run to the Frieza Saga. Okay. And how do you um, feel? Excited, like, I guess excited. It's been, uh, like, progressing upwards, which is good because for a while I felt like it was, like, really plateaued and limbo. I had, yeah, I had a lot of talks with people close to me about shit just being stuck at like that, you know what I mean? And, uh, I mean, this gave it a little bit of boost and got some recognition and shit, and, like, the numbers went up and everything like that, so it was good. I'm excited now. Yeah. Like, you've seen how, how much buzz you got from yeah. the Dragon Ball Z. Did you decide to study some more, or did you? Yeah, well, it, it made me, it definitely uh, made me, like, dip my nose into things deeper and, like, find more shit out and, like, watch the different variations and there's, like, spin-off type shit and there's stuff that's, like, not directly canon to the original series. But I also went and I watched the series from the first episode all the way to the last episode. It's, like, 200-something episodes for me. Like, after that, there's so much... That, level, level yeah, up. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I'm ready. Like, I'm ready. <laughs> Up upgraded. Just give me the beats. I'm ready. Um, some people say that the game is fucked up. Mm -hmm. Too many artists, too many producers, no money to be made. Mm -hmm. Where do you fit in with your career in this game? Like, yeah. the way it is, the situation it is now. It's definitely fucked up, and it's different from when we were coming up and what we were, like, looking forward to being involved in in the music industry and shit. I think that we had, uh, we came up in, like, the, the Puff Daddy and the the locks and like the way that shit was coming up at, at that time it was it was really different like if you got a deal you were a millionaire and you would have the money and everything else would be uh situated but now it's like you, you see a lot of artists um they're not really getting paid directly off getting signed to a label and getting millions of dollars right away and then having to pay back in advance a lot of these guys are building organically yeah in, independently and organically from um the ground up and I think that is a way better way to do it because I think that's why there's a lot of like one hit wonders and shit because the labels were making it, forcing hits to happen rather than like organically letting them like, now like people will find a song on SoundCloud and it'll become a hit because the people say it's a hit, not because the label's like investing millions of dollars in the promotion and shit like that. Well, see, I don't, I, like to me, when I sit, sit around and think about it, even when we were listening to hip hop back then, mm -hmm. they would say hip hop was dead. Mm -hmm. Remember when they say hip hop was yeah, dead? Yeah, now it's. <laughs> now, now what? Is, yeah, so now it was always around, right? right. Hip hop was dead in their minds. Yeah. Because it was different hip hop. And we exceeded. it. Now, what I'm saying is now that there's so much independency and there's so many, so many artists can now say fuck the labels, mm -hmm. they'll make their own lane. Mm -hmm. Hop right over it. Hop right over it. And then directly. But that's what's making. 
the the game's so saturated. Oversaturated. And that's another thing because it's so accessible, because studios are so accessible, you can anyone can record, anyone can put something out to as many people as will listen to it. I mean, yeah, like you said, like it, the, that whole like selection of who's going to be a star or not, that's just all gone and now it's just everyone shooting in the dark, like looking for a shot. And I mean, that, 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 that made people lose the hunger, right? Because people would be like hungry, like, oh, I need a deal, so they spin in there to get his deal. Exactly. Now they're just spitting in there and be like, I can get my own shit. Yeah, you don't have to be good no more. Like, you don't have to like be right. better than the other guy because you can just carry your own shit. If you have a bunch of trap money, you can be like, doesn't matter, I can't rap, I'm just going to dump all this trap money. Right. You know, and how do, you, how do you feel about that? And, and how does that affect I your see. career? Is, is trying to get, I don't know, trying to get paid. Like, are yeah. you trying to get paid for this? Yeah, money? absolutely. It's a business, man. And that's how you got to like understand it too. Like for a long time, I mean, when you're first coming up, obviously you're, not, you're gonna, not going to look at it like a business. But once you start like being in it for a while, you're going to look at it like a business and you got to treat it like that. And um, I mean, if you have the money, it's what it's going to take to blow up these days because, I mean, not too many people are doing fucking favors for free. But in your mind, can, in you, can it be done? <laughs> yeah, it can be done. Can it be done from where you're sitting right now? For sure, for sure, for sure. Because I feel like anyone could blow up now because the internet, it doesn't matter where you're from no more. Like before, you had to be in the center of shit, and now it's like you can be in the center of shit sitting in, like, fucking Nebraska. Like, it doesn't even matter. But let me put it like this. Okay, we've had artists like Belly. Yeah. Like, uh... Uh, Carnell Official, all right. Maestro, mm -hmm. they all had to cross that border right. to get more of a buzz, mm -hmm. I guess. You know, I mean, you can get so much, you get buzz here, you can. Yeah, you do. You don't have to so much in Canada, though, you're right. But do you feel like you to get to that next level, next yeah. stage? You gotta go to safe. That's all right. And, that's, and how do you feel about, what would you say for upcoming uh, hip hop artists? And Don't fuck up. Keep keep clean, keep your record clean, don't fuck up, don't be out there fucking up for little money because it could fuck your long money up in the long run, right? So you guys play smart. And I just found out I can go over the border, so I'm trying to go to the USA now. Easy. So watch out for them, man. Ta -ta -ta -ta. So who's your three favorite artists of all time? Ghostface. Ghostface. Styles P. Styles P. You talking about rappers or rappers? Yeah. Yeah. So much, man. Lil Wayne. Back in the day, Lil Wayne. Though. That'd be, not, back not in the really day, Lil Wayne. Now, so, old Lil Wayne. Was old, who's the three of your favorite artists you listen to now? Dude, uh, Lil Uzi out of Philly. He's dope. Uh, Pee Wee Longway out of Atlanta. Um, you know Scythe out of Toronto. Scythe. Okay. I was banging Scythe's mixtape a lot. Yeah, it's out. Go get it. Yeah, go get the Rookie of the Year. Rookie of the Year. It's just dope as fuck. Money, new money. Top album of all time? Um, my most influential album was Raekwon, Only Built for Cuban Lakes. Like that that set you off, that you played that it. from front to back. Yeah. That was always in your car. That was my shit. It was a, actually, was, it was a tape, right? It was a cassette that was a cassette. I had. Yeah, I was young, man. <laughs> it, was, it was a shit. That was like the first thing that really set me off and wanted to rap. Yeah. For sure. So would you say Raekwon has, you have a, you have a bit of Raekwon in your style? I would say more Ghost. I think Ghost is more influential um, for my rapping at first. Uh, but he was all over that tape too, so it was pretty much like his tape. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, for they sure. stuck together. It was, it was definitely influential for sure. So your first Dragon Ball Z mixtape? Yeah. Freezer Saga, Freezer right? Freezer Saga, yeah. Freezer Saga. Go get that. You find it at utvmg.ca or, or um, sazy.bandcamp.com. Okay. Cop that, you know? <laughs> You don't gotta buy it, but if you wanna buy it, support the artist. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's pay, pay it or pirate, whatever. Whatever you wanna do. So, that first mixtape, your Dragon Ball Z mixtape, Freezer mm -hmm. Saga, mm -hmm. uh, do you feel it was a success? Yeah, yeah. Super successful for me um, as an artist. It was definitely like my most downloaded tape, my most streamed, uh, like tape with the most streams and shit. Um, and it got onto like some international blogs and shit, which kind of pushed it, the international look. Which is crazy, and we started getting on like Brazilian websites, Swedish websites, German websites. So that one actually bubbled like worldwide, which is fucking pretty crazy with no budget. Love, uh, love and hate, love and hate. It always comes. Yeah, oh yeah, that's together, fucking. So. You put if you put some kind of, something you create into the world, you have to be like ready for you know for eighty percent of people not to understand it or not to like what was, it. What was or, the most bizarre shit that somebody would say to you like? I don't remember, man. It was no, a while ago. no, but it was a lot of like. It was a lot of yeah. yeah it, was, it was good. It was either way. So from that success, yeah. 
How do you feel you'll do with this upcoming one? I hope it bubbles the same way. I hope it gets embraced the same way. Um, I made a lot of new fans. Um, people who interact with me on social media and shit like that um, off the last one, so hopefully they support this new one, make even. And sorry, the name the name of the new one is the Cell Saga. The Cell Saga. Yeah. And you got a video out now. Yeah, Perfect Cell. Perfect um, Cell. Produced by Pops, shot um, by Frank Douglas. Frankie. Frankie the Pizza Boy. Yeah, so that's that's the first. Was that the first video that's you dropped single, to yeah, promote? Dropped that, yeah. The, uh, the mixtape. Mixtape or album? That, say? I'd say it's an album. An EP, album. Yeah. EP coming out January 25th, January 25th. January 25th coming out. You can get that mg.ca. You can get that at stacy.bandcamp.com. Follow me on Twitter. <laughs> and that video like we were just talking about right now, Yeah. Um, it's also on uh, World Star Hip Hop. Yeah, we put on World Star And the comments so far was out outrageous. Yeah. Comment you've had so that far. Like, um, it, was like, it was like Sazy dash perfect L instead of cell. Like I'm taking the yeah, L. Yeah, I'll take the L. Um, what else? There was, uh, oh, this guy would have a better chance of finding all the Dragon Balls than his rap career taking off. Jeez. <laughs> but that's <laughs> like, yo, you're fuck, world man. star hip, I mean, internet the control, is known man. for that's that shit. Media is known for that. Ass fucking keyboard bangers, right? It doesn't, Social to media. To me, I'm just happy people are checking it out. I give a fuck what they say about it. They, what they say? They say, uh, any publicity is... Yeah, it's good publicity. It's good as long as they see it, they're talking about it. Got like 30, uh, 38,000 views in two days. Two days. Yeah. Now, the amount of downloads you got on your first uh, Dragon Ball Z, yeah. so, uh, Freezer Saga. Mm -hmm. Beams, it was like Streams. probably close to half a million. Half a million. Yeah, with everything, with the Bandcamp and the SoundCloud. And you feel yeah. that you won't top it? I don't know. I hope. I think that, I think that a lot of the, um, the people found out about it through the Noisy article mm -hmm. that we had, Noisy. And I think that was like a good gateway for people to find out about the shit. And uh, like people were, it was a free album, and I made like people were buying it and everything like that. So it was it was crazy. People were supporting it, and fucking with it. So hopefully, so you, you made money. Like, you made money. It's not like you didn't make money. Yeah, 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 for sure. Like how you? You know, it's all for promotional use only. So the money. <laughs> the money. Nah, no, no. Yeah. Okay, listen. You know what? From an other uh, artist point of view and stuff. Yes. Yeah. What people don't understand, like. Yeah, you put all this money in to make the album, mm -hmm. and then you're trying to recoup that money mm -hmm. with the sales. Yeah, it's almost like a label situation, but you're like putting your own advance up. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you're just scrambling for your own money back. But I mean, that's the type of shit. Uh, you know, you have to invest. I mean, you got yeah, and you gotta you love invest it, right? in your own shit, man. Yeah, you gotta know that you're worth putting the money into. What is what kind of formula do you use to market your albums, your projects, your persona, your um? I just use social media, man, basically. I use social media and word of mouth. Um, I have like a few uh, links that, you know, I can get on certain websites and certain blogs, so fuck with me and shit like that off the top. But it's not really uh, the major blogs. Like sometimes I get a look here and there, but mostly it's word of mouth and social media, man, that's yeah. been working. And just like coming with the right promotional shit and like uh, catchy shit, like shit that people will remember or. Like doing the Dragon Ball shit now, it's like every time I turn around, I'm getting tagged in like anything to do with Dragon Ball Z. People are tagging me in it, so it's good that people see that shit and automatically it. think about me. You know what I mean? So that's branding, I guess, in a way. Yeah. But, uh, but you don't have an actual like you sit down on your desk and this is your formula play by play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do. We write everything down on a list. Like I work with uh, with Caesar and shit, and he plans out a lot of the shit, and we we will plan things out like you know dates as far as like what's dropping when and why it doesn't make sense to do this and blah blah blah. So there is a lot more planning that goes into it, and that was just uh, something that we started doing recently because for a long time, like I was just doing whatever, like a lot of people are doing is just trying and trying and shooting in the dark, you know what I mean, hoping something sticks. But I find. Uh, when you put like a plan together and shit, shit works way better, man. Smooth yeah. and shit, and uh, just things have been working out the right way they need to for me. So it's fucking. To get to that formula, how you feel like if it took mad long. It felt like it took a long, long time. Yeah, it's part of the game. Yeah, yeah, you had to learn. You had to learn. Some people probably learn faster than others, and some people more stubborn than others. It's part of the game. You're learning crazy. Right. Um, last question, cause my bolas are freezing. Um, <laughs> Could at least turn on the car, open the room, get the engine warm. See how it's going. Okay, you're going on tour. Yeah. When does this tour start? Um, the tour starts tomorrow, actually. Today is the 13th, so tomorrow will be January Thursday. 14th. Yeah, we're going to be at Nocturne, downtown Toronto, Queen Street. 
um, tomorrow night, and then I go out west on the 20th. <clears throat> but yeah, we're going out west, Alberta, Calgary. You're going with Sue, because I see you're going uh, uh, Jay Northside. Jay Northside. Yeah, touring out there with Jay Northside. Shout out to homie Jay Northside. He brought me out to Edmonton a lot of times. And, uh, Showed that love. Yeah, this shit going, yeah. So, uh, and you, you've been on a tour before for the last, was it for the Saga? For the, for yeah, the we, I went on tour for the Freezer thing, mm -hmm. and then we went on Peter tour Jackson. with uh, Peter Jackson before that for YFNW and 3. And, and how, did, how was that? It was dope. It was dope. Anytime you tour, is, it's fun, man. You're with good people, and you're putting up shows every night and shit. Um, Canada's not as crazy as it as the States is for urban music, but it's, it's becoming a spot. Now it is, thank God. God bless. Yeah. God willing. God willing. All right, well, it's time to warm up. I'm freezing. Ooh, burn. You can see my breath. <laughs> huh? um, check my homies shit out. UTVMG.ca. You'll find all the ah. information there. Any last words for anybody? At SazySeason.com. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all that good shit. Shout out my man Chewy. He held it down. UTVMG.ca. Find out all your shit. Sazy.bandcamp.com. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Follow us at Yeah, yeah, yeah. We out. Always so I wish everything was perfect Why I feel like I give it all I got And it's still not working I feel that void with the smoking Drinking, fucking How can my situation worsen? So I'ma do what I know best Fuck me